fun. Hello everyone and welcome back to the 100 baby challenge and we are back. Yes we are and you may notice that we are a few people short. Now it was getting overcrowded and our quads aged up so it was time for them to age up so I did it off camera. Look at Roxy waddling away there and it was Hazel, Alison, Keith and Jason. So I'm going to insert a picture of Hazel now. And I'm going to insert a picture of Alison now. I'm going to insert a picture of Keith now. And last but certainly not least, it's Jason. Alrighty guys, so we have an issue. <laughs> I moved them out because there was no room. So I basically moved them out. And we're having a baby daddy, a baby daddy, a baby daddy party because she's about to give birth today. Now, she's about to give birth and we've still got four toddlers. So things are pretty tight around this house. So everybody fancies uh, <laughs> Everybody fancies her. So it's basically a tag team effort to let's get these toddlers up to scratch and up to date, if you like. Um, now, Daisy knows everything, so we can technically age her up now, but we'll wait. And uh, I'm getting the lovely Derek to teach his own son how to talk, because I think that that's, you know, that's pretty adorable if he teaches his own son. And here is... Uh, Roxy with Mr. Gerald. Now Gerald was a... Oh no, don't go away. I could just do lock to everyone but my household and then he can't get to work. <laughs> but if I do that, then maybe what will happen is... I don't know, we'll try it. He might get rerouted, but we'll give it a go. Why not? Why not? Okay, he's supposed to be somewhere else. Oh, what a shame. I'm really sorry, but did you not know that once you're in here, you ain't getting out here? <laughs> it's just one of those scenarios. So the pe the girls have, or the girls, or the rest of the children have a day off school. And because obviously with their siblings aging up, it kind of termed it as if it was going to be graduation, but it's not graduation. So therefore, you know these things happen. Right, could you go, Spencer, and empty that potty and make yourself kind of useful? That would be, that would be great. And Roxy, if you can get to know this dude. Now, we're definitely going to make Kane the last person. Oh my god, what is he wearing? <laughs> That's horrendous. That's awful. So we're going to make him the last one. Um, a lot of you said I'd been with Kane before, or a couple of you, but I hadn't. It was, um... What's his face? It's not Kane, it's... Oh my god, Levi. So it hasn't, I definitely haven't been with Kane, it was Levi that uh, she went with. And 24 kids, guys. 20 freaking four kids. I am ecstatic about that. I cannot wait to see uh, how many we end up with. Because I think we have a few more pregnancies in her. I think if she gives birth today, we'll definitely get another one in. And then, hopefully, oh, the, oh, the maid can't get in. Right, fine, we'll unlock. No, 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 no. You need to clean this house. This house is a riot. Unlock. So let's unlock to you. Um. So, yeah, so what was I saying? So I think she'll definitely have two pregnancies in her, but I wish she would just hurry up and pop those babies out. I'm hoping for more than twins this time. Oh, and it is also, we have some birthdays today as well. It is Ivy and Autumn's birthday, so they turn into teenagers today. Teenagers? Okay, so good stuff. She knows how to talk. Right, and you're not going to work because you want to quit your work. So let's just do that. Let's quit work like you want to do. And do you need anything, my little sweetheart? No, you're actually hunky-dory. So as soon as she's quit work, do you need to, yeah, teach her to walk? That would be great. And what about you? Regina Mills, yes, she wants to quit. She, she doesn't care. She doesn't care. All right, and is that all she needs? I don't even know, but you know, there we go. So she has quite a job. 
Um, I'm trying to think. I was going to speak to you about, guys about something I cannot remember. Comments. Yes, I have had a super busy weekend. Like, you would not believe. I've been at the other house, you know, the house we're moving into, ripping up carpets and, and just doing a whole bunch of kind of non-interesting house stuff. So I've not had a chance to reply to any of the comments in the last episode of Baby Challenge. However, I will get around to the comments because, as you know, it is like my total happy time is when I can sit and talk to you guys so I definitely want that to remain part of my channel so I will definitely definitely 100% still be doing this all right so are we doing well with this this tag team so you've nearly finished him doing that you've nearly finished with her doing that does she know I think she does know how to talk she would stay at peace Yes, Olivia! Woo woo! Okay, so Olivia knows how to walk now. So why don't we just start aging them up? That that would probably be wise since, you know, they all need to age up. So that would be kind of wise. Because we've got the four of them and then we also have the two birthdays. So you like your makeovers, guys? <laughs> so this is definitely going to be a long episode or not a lot of gameplay it'll just pretty much be makeovers and things okay so prom is happening soon right so this is little Olivia so age up darling yay so cute all right excellent excellent parenting skills couldn't get that out she's clumsy she's athletic and she is loves the heat <laughs> and she is that's not even right doesn't that isn't even right okay so he knows how to talk wonderful does he know how to walk no he doesn't so teach him how to do that that would be amazing and our little daisy pie let's trigger her age transition we'll bring you this away hey daisy aging up babe is it your birthday yet stop doing that stop playing with the blocks come and have your birthday it's your birthday, it's your birthday. Come on, age up, it's your birthday. That's not even a song. <laughs> I just made that up. <laughs> Can you tell that I'm like delirious with tiredness and kind of happiness? It's my happy place. Okay, excellent parenting skills. Easily impressed, loves the heat, and family oriented. Good trait. Okay, the baby is coming. Roxy is about to pop her sprog. How exciting. Right, go to hospital. Go to the hospital. And as always, we are going to fast forward until she gets there. And we will see what we get. Exciting times. Alright guys, so we are waiting patiently at the hospital for our baby mama to pop out the first sprogaroo. So hopefully she does it and it's a baby girl. How exciting. And of course her pregnancy went well. Right, who do we have? So our first name on the list is Adeline Moore. Adeline Moore and she suggested Tiana. It's a lovely name. Lovely name. Tiana it is. And Tiana hates outdoors and is disciplined. Alrighty then. Oh my god, I always panic. See, when it does too much music, I'm like, oh my god, it's going to be a single baby. Right, so the next one is, where are we, where are we, where are we? Kate Flanagan suggested Max. So Max for a boy. Pretty sure we don't have a Max. God, could possibly though. <laughs> Pretty sure we don't. Artistic and a genius, awesome traits. Okay. So how many do we have? Are we done? No! At least triplets. Awesome. So another baby girl. So what do we have? So Max. Who's next? Um, Mango Pink 1234 suggested Carrie for a girl. Which is another lovely name. Oh, Carol. <laughs> Carol. No, Carrie. Like Carrie from Sex and the City. Country is heavy sleeper and loves that heat. Is that us? With triplets? With quads? No, triplets. We've had one set of quad, one set of quads, which I think is good going because, you know, 
I was I think I've only had one set of quads in total. Not bad. Not bad at all. And our showgirl Lola has just learned to walk. Awesome. So that is us got another set of triplets. So that is quite a few sets of triplets in a row. Which is good. Which is very, 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 very good. So I'm going to get her home and then I will cut back once we are all settled in. Alrighty guys, so we are home and all the babies are now in their crib or at least, you know, kind of. <laughs> and um, it looks like Henry is just about to finish now. Yes, he has. Good. Now, we had to call the repair technician, which is good because that means we have our next target. So, he's not our last baby daddy because we'll definitely get two more pregnancies. If she gets pregnant now, it's three sim days, which takes us down to there. So, yeah, she'll definitely be able to have two more pregnancies, but we need to get pregnant today. So, we know what that means, guys. We know what that means. We need to be kidnappers or not kidnappers, but men nappers. So <laughs> he's not getting it out. He's in, but he's not getting out. So we are going to, that's locked anyway. Okay, so he's going to be the next baby dad. Yes, he is. So we need Roxy to come over here. I think he's been a few times, and I think that we, uh, he's been a few times, and I think we have built up some sort of friendship with him just in case you know because you always like to you need to have the backup you need to have the backup plan and i would just get deja vu so i don't know if i've already said that before <laughs> but i just oh my god do you ever get such a strong case of deja vu to let me know below if you've ever had it because that's crazy like how much deja vu i just had there right so they are friendly so that's good so she's asking at me hang out so wilbert willie Willie, my old pal, old friend. Right, so funny. Tell him a funny story. So let's just whack out these funny interactions because let's face it, we all know that they work the best. And what I want to do is I want to age her up. I want to age up Lola just now so that she ages up on the same... D oh my god, she's adorable. I just I absolutely love her. I think she's amazing. Right, age up Lola. Her name was Lola. She was a showgirl. Biddy biddy da 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 da. Right, age up, sweetheart. And so we'll take in, if we've got time, we will take in and do the makeovers. However, what is most important is to get the bun in the oven. Oh ho ho ho. That's what's most important. Wilbert dislikes children. Wonderful. <laughs> Computer whiz. Excellent. Well, that's quite interesting that he he's clumsy, doesn't like his, what? Right, so as part of her challenge, like completing the popularity challenge, if she um, is good friends with someone, they jump to best friends, so that's good. Right, so what we can do then is we can romantic flirt with him. We can romantic amorous hug him. We can romantic compliment his appearance, and let's see what happens. Like, take all these interactions away. Who cares about a funny story? Let's just, let's just flirt. Whoa. Oh my god. Got fright my life. Right, these were triplets, so are all of these aging up? Okay, very good. You're having a birthday. Ah, okay, good stuff. Romantic. How about some flirt? Oh, for goodness sake, agent up. Okay, Ruby's childish. Ruby's childish. She didn't get enough time to go to school, to be fair. Let's go. Oh my god, will you... Oh my god, that's creepy. Please render. Please render. <laughs> Listen, I'm trying to do something here. Stop dragging my camera away. First kiss. Oh, so cute! So cute. Okay, she is brave. Awesome. So is that is that <laughs> Roxy's got a naughty reputation? Yes, we we know that. We know, we know. Naughty Foxy, Roxy, we know. 
So let's get a romantic. It's the same, guys. The same every time we do this. <laughs> but it seems to work. So go and get yourself a massage, girl. You deserve it. So many busties. Go and get... No. Go and get your massage. Go on. Get massage. Romantic massage from Wilbert. Go on. And why is this not working? Go away! Oh my god, they're coming to Cockblock again! No bedtime stories from the strange men. What is wrong with you, little freaky children? He's the repairman! Nobody asks the repairman for a bedtime story. These things don't happen. Uh, excuse me, don't shout at my child, bookworm. The only person that can shout at my child is me. <laughs> but you go, no, Wilbert, Wilbert, talk about family, no. Get a romantic massage from Wilbert, go. On you go. Okay, so we have some aging up. Practically everyone has aged up and we seem to be stuck in a doorway. Llama, get yourself to France and back. Bye, Llama. Bye, Llama. Right. No, Derek, darling. Derek, no. No. No hot stones. You're not getting the hot stones, Wilbert is. <laughs> did I just say that? Did I just say that? Yeah, I did just say that. <laughs> right, let Wilbert through. Baby daddy coming through. Baby daddy coming through. Lock to everybody. Right, Roxy, you know the script, darling. Whip off that stuff. Whip it off. Whip it all off. Okay, good. Okay, so we have a lot of makeovers. It might not be in this episode. We might actually just do it in the next one. We'll go to bed then, Daisy. It's quite simple. Like, go to bed, go up here, and sleep. It's easy when you know how. You need to go and use all in one bathroom and you need to sleep. I don't really care if you sleep in someone else's bed. I don't care. I just want you to go and sleep. Sorry if you can hear um, coughing or whatever. Chris is, Chris's allergies are playing up today so he's coughing like a madman. Rub it in. Rub it all in. Rub it all in. Our babies are sleeping soundly, which is good. Henry is also conked out. So the babies are adorable. Love them to bits. Love them to bitteroos. What is Regina doing? Regina, there is no way that you'd be bouncing on a trampoline in those heels. Like, you would pierce it. You would pierce it and it would be a big disaster. Okay, she's quite fertile, so can we... Oh no, maybe I stopped that. No, she's got the fertility moodlet, so she doesn't need any more. Right, quit it. I mean, he's not, look, he's not even got... Like, he's still got his gloves on. Like, he's stinking work gloves. He's probably getting an exfoliation, never mind a romantic massage. Right, drink your potion, girly pie. Drink your potion. Good girl. Awesome. Okay, so we want to try for a baby with Wilbert. Certainly not with Regina. <laughs> Why would we want to try for a baby with Regina? That's not going to happen. Although it would be quite groovy if the woman could impregnate the woman because it would make my life a hell of a lot easier, I'll tell you that for nothing. Okay, we've got some stressed out babies, so can we deal? Regina, darling, can you come in here? What do you need? You need social, so come in here and snuggle and play with. Why are you in the tree? Are you sleeping in the tree? Right, okay. Sleep in the tree if you like, I don't mind. Whatever floats your boat and whatever makes you happy is what I say. Alright, you ready guys? Multiple, multiple, m -m 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 multiple. Multiple, multiple, ma 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 multiple. 
I've decided I want to get wallpaper like this for my new living room. I think that would be nice. Yay! Baby Jingle! That's what I like to see, guys. That's what I like to see. Now, the time that we get quads, we tried for a baby twice. So, I'm going to try and do it. Let's see. Can we try for a baby twice? Admire handiness skill. No, we won't. He's going to tell me he's somewhere to be, isn't he? You're not going anywhere. You're not going anywhere. Come over here and romantic uh, embrace him. Try for a baby with Wilbert. Go ahead. Yeah, because the time we had quads, I'm pretty sure that we tried for a baby twice. We heard the jingle and then tried for a baby again. It could be absolutely nothing to do with it. Right, what is this? Talk about dropping some weight. Tiana Regan just became thin. Are you shitting me? She is a baby. She is a baby. Oh no! Scumbag. Right, well never mind. You're pregnant. So that's fine. So, <laughs> what do you need? You need to... What? What? Right, you need to eat. So come and eat something nice. So open. And there's nothing nice. So come and serve some pancakes. Severed the pancakes and then see if it's on kids music it is good stuff. Well we didn't get the double woohoo which was a shame but that's okay. You can get out there can you not? Okay maybe you can't. You always know when the chihuahua choo choo you guys that something's up. Okay what about, what about what's happening with the babies? Is anybody helping with the babies? Derek, stop reading bedtime stories, like seriously. The bedtime story thing gets on my tatas, I'm not even going to lie. Not going to lie. Give a bottle. Give a bottle to this baby. Okay, well it looks like Regina has got it locked down. She is... Oh my god, look at you! Running through the wall. Right, go and sleep then. She seems to have it kind of locked down. In fact, no, Henry's sleeping, so you don't want to disturb him when he's sleeping. Right, Derek, what to do is, what does she need? What one is she? Tiana, is that? That's Tiana there. Go and, go and deal with Tiana. Go and give her a bottle. Regina is like the best helper. Regina, seriously, you you are are you in there? Are you in there already? In there like swimwear. She is. She is. In there like swimwear, that woman, so she is. Right, well why don't she's got it under control. Just go to bed. <laughs> why not? Just go to bed. She seems to be quite happy as the, the nanny. Why are you not in bed, child of mine? Sweet child of mine. Why not? Spencer, get to freaking bed. What are you doing? All you're going to do is just moan how you're tired tomorrow. Go and sleep in Emma's bed. Alright, what's up with you? You're tired. Have you been to sleep? No, you haven't. Um. Right, what to do? Before you go anywhere, before you go anywhere, I need you to change his dirty diaper. And I need you to then feed him on the floor because I think that's what he needs. Yes, he does. Let's so go and do that for me, my darling, and that will be wonderful. So I'm glad that we're pregnant again. I mean, I'm very, very pleased. Why are you walking away? I got you to make pancakes so you would have some. Have some. Let's go and have some. There we go. Wonderful. I can't believe we're at 27 babies, guys. 27 babies! That is, like, awesome. And in the next part, we'll definitely do the makeovers, first of all, for all the ones. So we have got makeover for Autumn, Ivy, and Ruby to do, and also Hunter, Olivia, and Lola, and Daisy. No, not Hunter. He's fine. Olivia, Lola, Daisy, and eventually Henry. Holy moly, guys, if you like the makeover episodes, you are going to like the next one. I will tell you that. Right, what's up with all these kiddie winkles? Are you... Oh, my God. 
so much crying they've all pissed themselves. Oh no. Changed out a diaper. <laughs> they've all done a doo doo in their pantaloons. So and like even Henry's crying. Henry, you need to calm yourself. Go and play with blocks, Alan. Go. Henry needs potty trained. That's why I've not uh, aged him up, just in case you were wondering. I'm sure you were. Not the duck. Damn it. Okay, guys, that is the horrible duck of doom. As much as we hate him, he is there to keep these episodes under control. Otherwise, you and I would be here for an hour. So I hope you're all having an amazing day. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know how your weekend has went. I know a lot of you had plans. Did they plan out? <laughs> or did you end up doing something else? So let me know below, guys. And uh, yeah, I love you loads. And I'll talk to you in the very next part. Bye, guys.